The first herd of 27 elephants that caused destruction to two Mahango fields as well as fences of farmers along the Angolan border left yesterday morning. The second group of 15 elephants only left this morning and did not cause any damages to properties in the vicinity. The first herd spent most of their stay in the Mahango fields which are in close proximity to each other feasting on the Mahango crops and trampling on the remaining crops. When NBC News visited the area this morning, affected crop farmers narrated that the herds have caused massive damages to the produce. They say the chances of yielding a harvest at the end of this rainy season are zero. This is my first time to see a herd of elephants in my area, let alone in my crop field, causing the destruction that they have done in so many years of my residency here. Even after my return from exile, I am really disappointed that my crops were destroyed in the process. The elephants feasted on our relatively young crops and stumbled our fields, and we are not sure how we are going to survive the year if no assistance comes our way. Our fences have also been destroyed, and we are appealing for the Lion Ministry to assist us with compensation for our crops, as well as to put back our fences so that we are protected in case the elephants come back again. Officials from the Minister of Agriculture as well as Ohangwena Governor Valden Devashia visited the affected families. Devashia reiterated government's readiness to assist affected farmers as a result of human wildlife conflict. What we have done is uh, just a quick intervention. Uh, I also bought them some uh, bags of maize meal and the cooking oil. Uh, however, the Minister of Environment and Tourism, when we informed them, they have a policy of um, wildlife animal conflict policy, and through that they have got a way also of compensating the, the people that have been, have their property have been damaged by the wildlife. Uh, and that, according to the officials from the Ministry of Environment, they have been informed uh, and they are going to assist them also to access that, that service uh, for them to claim their damage. Officials from the Ministry of Environment have also urged residents to be on alert at all times and not to approach elephants, but rather contact their officers to avoid loss of life.